shuffling. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Slim Tim, Instagrams, Mr. Fired Up, bringing you another DIY video. I appreciate the feedback on asking me on how I built my grow out beds out here for my aquaponics system. They're eight foot long, one foot deep, and one foot across. So let's go ahead and run through here and show you how I constructed them right quick and make this as quick as possible. You ready? Here we go. Alright. We're going to start off with, like I said, with the measurements I stated. It depends on what size bed you want to build. But I'm going to go off the measurements I stated at the beginning of the video here. Go ahead and get yourself a piece of plywood. I got mine at 4 foot by 8 foot. Cut it up into 4 sections, being tw you know the foot 12 inches long. Now I'm going to show you how you can go about attaching this. Alrighty, I'm using uh, drywall screw screws, which is tack screws, one inch by five eighths. And what I've done here is, once I got my tape measure laid out, you go in about a quarter inch high, so you know you can catch your board on the opposite side. I got it coming through just a little bit so I can be able to tack on to the next board so I can get it lined up. And I got to screw every foot for my length here. So let's go ahead and get attached to the bottom piece. Alright. There we go, having it attached. Like I said, once you get the first two down, it'll pretty much stand up by its own. And then all you have to do is go down through here on the bottom. Make sure you line up your edges. Get my finger out of there. I said just line up your edges and try not to go too fast with the drill because that'll happen. But we'll fix that. Don't worry about that. Do the other side the same way. Be right back. Alright, there we are attached on the sides. Now, what you're going to do now is measure from here to here on the bottom to get the, your end cap measurement. And then once you attach it here on the bottom you know about an inch above the bottom here you'll go up to the top and stretch out the top to make it the same distance like so alright make sure to anchor along the bottom as well to support your weight and like I said there's your cap in let's go ahead and do the other end right quick there we go both ends are squared up now let's go ahead and get the bottom supports for each side done Alright, bottom supports are on. I went at the ends and attached, and every two feet to anchor them in place to the bed. Let's do the legs. Alright, our first leg is attached. We got it in a triangle form, being one of the strongest shapes in nature. Got it anchored inside the bed here with three screws. Anchored it on the outside to the opposite board. Then halfway down the middle and down at the foot. Also, remember the uh, support beam for the bed? Got it anchored to it as well. So, let's do. And leg three and four. Like I said, did the same as I did on the opposite end. Anchored anchored complete support frame let's get it put on the floor and get the middle legs attached and middle leg in place to support the middle of the bed along with like I said the support beam on the bottom anchored it in place with more screws got a top brace to open the bed back up because uh, during you know during the assembly it was in probably about that much, so I had to force it back open. Oh yeah, for the gray screws, I used two inch. And this screw was a three inch. Oh yeah, down here on the bottom of the outside legs, I put a cross brace seven inches up off the ground to help prevent bowing as well. 
I'm contemplating on doing it on the middle boards, supports. So we'll see how that works out. All right. There's how you make your DIY grow bed. As you can see, the sun went down a little bit. Got a little cold in here. I had to put my sleeves back on. So, I appreciate you tuning in. I hope this was helpful to you, everybody that's tuned in, that's getting into aquaponics and want to save some money of making your own size bed instead of trying to make, you know, conform to whatever size is available to be used instead. Now, to continue on with the project of this greenhouse on my channel, I'll have a playlist starting from when I first got the greenhouse to on every video. So, keep on tuning in to see what I'm going to do next out here. Next thing is going to be to put the IBC in pro uh, place and go ahead and put all these beds in place as well. Like I said, i got to clean up some junk. So, continue hitting the like button, Bloop. comment, and welcome you new subscribers. Stay fired up!